another player in the great game of Magalon. I see your path has returned you to these icy climbs once more. It has been some time. Kar Akram, if I'm not mistaken. You still know my name. That is, uh, interesting. We so rarely had the pleasure after all. You were a scout for the Ice Palace? You were quite the traveler back then. I never fully abandoned work, you know. Although I am no simple scout these days. You're being modest. I hear you're the first Alexander, the highest spiritual leader of the Alps. You, the beast of Zakor, can call me Ekrom. Of course. Titles are hollow, no matter how hard you work to get them. And yet, you still follow the path of your former people. There must be a reason for that, surely. I assume you are here because of the invaders ravaging our planet. There are a lot of things I have to take care of. Well, that is interesting indeed. What can I do to aid you in your efforts? What's going on? Any news about the Skyans' troop movements? We recently had word that a large formation of their troops is approaching. I wouldn't be surprised if they've already taken up positions in front of the depot. an attack soon. We must prepare for the onslaught. You should negotiate with them. They've tried. The principal leading them clearly indicated that he will only accept unconditional surrender. He wants our edix. Needless to say, that is not an acceptable option for anyone here. Does that mean the Albs are joining the war against the Skyans now? It can't be helped. We will not surrender the depot without a fight. I could try and stop them outside the depot. That would help us a great deal, even if you could only reduce their numbers. You could put in a good word for me with the Albs. I could do that, but your own decisions are what brought you here. If you can win our people over, convince them of your cause, whatever that might be, then you will have earned it. If not, however... I understand. I can only give you a piece of fatherly advice. Be consistent in all you do. A fickle man is never as effective or as admired as a stalwart soldier in single-minded pursuit of a goal. What do you plan to do about the foreign invaders? At the moment, we Albs are in the worst strategic position of all the Magalan peoples. And we are not as well equipped as the invaders. That means we are likely to be their first target. We must be vigilant. We must track the invaders' every move. That is one of the reasons I spend so much time in the depot at the moment. That's it? Vigilance? I expected more from you. Haven't you got a plan? Don't confuse my not sharing a plan with you, with the absence of a plan. I hardly need remind you that you've proven problematic for the Albs more than once. Prove you deserve the respect of our people, however you contrive to do so. Perhaps if you do so, I will impart my knowledge and plans to you. Until that day comes, however. You're leader of the Albs. Aren't you worried walking around outside the depot without protection? I am an Alexator of the Albs. If I cannot withstand the perils of Ignadon, how am I to lead an entire people? 
We will take up positions here and wait for the attackers. We must prepare for battle. And one more thing. The invaders are ferocious and determined opponents. If you value your life, you do well to steer clear of Marakor. They are most active here. Ugh. And going... Number? 348-9-14. I need to check that. Just a sec. Found it. You are eligible for exactly one weekly ration of food. Log, one weekly ration dispensed to 348-9-14. That was your last ration. You're now welcome to buy food if you want. Number? 348-9-14. I need to check on that. Just a sec, please. I should be due a weekly ration. Hmm. I can't find anything in the system. It says you already took your ration earlier today. Then the system is wrong. I didn't get anything. No, the system is working fine. You already got your ration. Now go before I report you to Azok for trying to get double rations. But... No buts. You're permitted to buy food if you like. I don't have any shards. Not my problem. I'll come back later. Fine. Skyans are now entering open confrontation like that. We don't have much time. The Skyans outside the depot have been driven back. Really? But that... Well... You have accomplished what I could not. Hmm. An impressive demonstration of your effectiveness. Do what needs to be done. Truly, you have lost none of the greatness that once made you so renowned. Good work, Jax. The Albs are in your debt. May you be ever as effective as you were today, until we meet again. As I patrol Ignadon, I shall reflect on the lessons presented by recent events. Just you wait. The outlaws are gonna have to leave this shithole sooner or later. Really? You think we don't know that? Shit. But that's gonna have to wait for a bit. I just heard those chuckle fuck Albs set their damn mutants on the loose. The Albs want us wiped out. We're gonna kill all of them. 
or they're gonna go after everyone. Where are these mutants? A bunch are headed to the crater right now. If they get here, that's the end of us. There's more roaming around Ignadon. The Alps are seriously trying to get rid of anyone else in their territory. A shit ton of the fucking things were seen in Marakor. I think the Alps are working with the Skyans. I'd suggest you get your ass moving and deal with this shit immediately. I don't know what else I have to do, but get moving. Now! See what happens now. The number of mutants in Ignadon is still too damn high. Marakor is jammed with mutants. Jammed with mutants. We're still not ready. Take power again. Everything here will be cleared away.
Their numbers are dropping. There's still a few more to defeat before we can feel safe again. Okay. Let's run through it one more time. Ugh. If we have to. So before we can assault the main former, we still need to take care of a few things. Then stop throwing around your fancy-ass words and get down to business. I just thought I'd let you know. A few of the resident bums told me the Morcons are looking to make their way here through the pass. They're looking to tear us a new asshole. Yeah, we'll put it on the to-do list. Spare me your self-important bullshit. Take out the trash like you're supposed to. If the Morcons get in here, we'll be hanging from our thumbs at the edge of the crater in no time. Unsightly, filthy, and chaotic. Not everything humans create is desirable. I'm coming for you! I'm coming for you! that. Let's see what happens now. It won't stay peaceful for long, but I think the biggest threats to us outlaws have finally been eliminated. The Duke should know about this. The Morcons won't be coming through Crater Pass. They aren't a threat anymore. Looky here. Our trusty hero came through in the clutch. For just a sec, I thought, nah, never mind. Good work, doggies. You should be proud. But enough bullshit. I don't want you thinking I like you. Okay. Let's run through it one more time. Ugh. If we have to. From what I can see, the major threats are dealt with. Okay. Well, I'll take your word for it. We should have time to deal with other issues now. Sure. Maybe we should haul our asses to Marakor. Fuck it. Why not? I got no reason to argue. Just don't forget who you're loyal to. And no more fucking whining. Let's get a summary of the tasks we have ahead of us. Stand by. <laughs> I've taken care of the riots going on in the lands of the Free People. That'll help out the Sixth Power. A principal called Teak wants me to visit him in the Patara Former. I'll need to be careful. It could be an audience with a Skyan superior or just a cheap attempt to trap me. I still don't know. 
It's about time we took Dawkins out. The sooner the better. Tell me right away if you track him down. Acknowledged. Last but not least, we need to get Cassandra to open the gateway to the main former. That's definitely going to be difficult. So let's keep going. We have a lot to do. Stand by. Probability of survival critically low. This is the Batara former command cell. And where's Principal Tay? In other myths will come men who will tower above all others, and yet be equal to them. So you must be Principal Tay. Didn't know Skyans could speak our language. What has long rested in darkness has returned to the light of the world. Yes, we speak your language. And yes, they call me Tayak now. A designation of my identity, one that has not completely shed its roots. Waiting for me. I called, and you came. Why now? Why haven't you tried to negotiate with humans before? Your attempts to infiltrate Cassandra were impressive. You are worthy of our attention. What makes you think you have the right to destroy our planet? It is as much our planet as it is yours, and we will improve it. Who are you? Where the hell are you from? The ground beneath you tells our story, but there are few who can remember it now. But why Magalon? Couldn't you have found another world? Unless you are aware of an alternative habitat, that is not a viable proposal. Why invade now? Why not before? We had not completed our primary research. We would have been unprepared. You're not giving me straight answers. Just a load of bullshit. You hear the words, but your mind is too limited to discern the truth behind them. Why did you call me? What do you want from me? You are the second humanoid anomaly. If anyone could understand, it would be you. What the fuck? You could ask a thousand more questions, and I could answer them all. And yet your mind would not apprehend this knowledge without the one answer to every question. And what's that? Who we are. Where we come from, where we are going, and how much time we have left is all at the will of the Singularity. It is the Source. It is our God. 
It is the Elix, and it will be the end of us all. More damn riddles. How am I supposed to understand anything if everything you say just raises more questions? Your thoughts are tied in knots, when really it's all so simple. Let me explain it to you from the very beginning. First, there was desire, a shared obsession for eternal life. We were not the only ones with such a desire. There was another, a scientist and inventor, making his name at what was then called the Infinite Skies Corporation. You're talking about Dawkins. It was he who invented the formula for immortality. He who discovered the singularity. A celestial body with the necessary laboratory conditions, many light years away. And so the inventor sent a delegation of scientists there, so that they could make his elixir of life a reality. And they succeeded. The first elix was created. But the inventor was still here on Nagalon. If he was to remain alive for the many decades of research ahead, he would be the first derivative of the Elix brought to him. And so the comet became the emissary of this miracle, delivering both the Elix and the cataclysm that would reduce the planet to ashes. The rest of Magellan's story you wrote yourself. Huh. I thought it must have been something like that. Callaan wasn't the only spacecraft sent to save mankind from the comet. There was a second one, carrying a group of scientists, and its name was Cassandra. That's who you are, isn't it? You're the scientist Dawkins sent in search of eternal life. When I first heard what you called yourselves, it sounded like sky ants. But you're not insects. You're not even beings from another planet. You're scientists. And you risk everything, heading into the sky in search of the very essence of life. Everything that's happened to our world over the last two centuries. It's because of you. You developed Elix and brought it here. My name was once Taylor. But many years of metamorphosis and cellular renewal turned me into something else. Turned us all into something unique. We became the Skyans. I am Teyak now, the guardian of Betara, one of those who will improve Megalon. What was it like, being shot into the sky like that? We are immortal. We can do things the rest of humanity can't even dream are possible. But it has come at a high cost. After centuries near the singularity, developing the Elix, we began to change. But we came to an even more devastating realization. The singularity was moving, slowly at first, then faster and faster. Even the most hardened skeptics could no longer deny what we had started to suspect. You see, the Elis was not just made near the singularity. Many of the components were actually taken from it. Does that mean... Yes, the Elix is part of the Singularity, and it, it wants it back. That thing, it's on its way here? You stole part of its essence, and now it's coming to take it back, to reunite with the Elix. Is that what you're saying? Your mind is beginning to see now, to understand. 
recall what you do improving? Killing everything and everyone and building your own world? You've got another word for that. Genocide. Those who are worthy will be transformed. All others are expendable. Why the hell are you telling me this? What do you want? You are the second humanoid anomaly. You are a DNA replicant of Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins, or Deus, as he is known among Skyas. You have a direct connection to him. Of all living humans, you must know where he is. As it happens, I have no idea where Dawkins is now. But... Why is he so important to you? Those of us who left in the Cassandra Space Shuttle risked our lives and had to live in open space for decades. Dawkins only had one job. He was to prepare this planet for our return with the first derivative of the Elix we sent him. But when we finally received word from him and returned, well, so much has gone wrong with this planet in our absence. So you want to make Dawkins pay for not preparing the planet for you? But that's not the whole story, is it? You don't understand why I still resist your infection, do you? Cassandra's computer told me. My superhuman willpower is a mystery, and you're starting to realize I could be dangerous to you. How am I doing so far? You see much. So you want to drag me off to your labs and tie me to one of your dissection tables? Of course. And since I'm Dawkins' DNA replicate, you think I must have the same abilities he does. So take me apart, and you learn all about him, too. Since you seem to understand everything so clearly, there's no need to prolong things. If you can't help us find him, this conversation is over. Dawkins won't be able to hide forever. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just one more thing. Enough questions. It is time to study your anomaly. We have very little time before the singularity arrives. We must be prepared. That means expanding our knowledge of mutability, and your DNA could save us many years of research. Now, Make your way to one of our research cells. You cannot win the battle with the new Elix anyway. Sooner or later, you will become one of us. Then why are you so eager to take me apart? You don't know shit. Anyway, even if it does come to that, it'll be my decision, not yours. Enough! We need to finish this now! over my dead body. If that is how it must be... <clears throat> Shouldn't have come here! survival within critical range. Believe it. That fucking son of a bitch. Dawkins is the cause of everything that's happened to humanity. The world fell to his arrogance and greed. He wanted nothing more than to prolong his own miserable existence. And now, when the spirits he summoned are haunting him, he disappears. This has to stop. For good. My drone needs to find him. I must put an end to his plans. Damn it. What's wrong with me? No. Not now!
to keep going. Something's happening to me. I think I'm starting to develop the ability to control it. I'm becoming one with the Dark Elix and its properties. Just as the Sky Ants feared. Dawkins, I will find you. And I will finish this. Commander, Dawkins detected near Deltara former. Damn it! We're too late! The Sky Ants already got him. I don't know what they've got planned for him in Deltara, but whatever it is, it won't be good for us. Immediate intervention recommended. Risk of compromise, 98.6%. Yeah, you're right. We gotta drag Dawkins out of there before the Sky Ants squeeze everything out of him. Acknowledged. 